Hello everybody, my name is Mohammad Amir and I'm from A Productions Tutorial. Today's episode, we are going to be discuss how you can blur your images after taken. Let's get started. So I got this image from my friend Avakas Alisha and he did a great job, such a really amazing photo. So let's get started. I'm currently on my uh, layer panel and duplicate the image maybe three times Control J you can press or you can select image and drag into new layer icon well I already have made the selection for my car only so I'm gonna right click load selection and I have car selection and then hit OK okay well guys first of all go to the select option then modify and then contract and then I'm going to type one pixel and hit OK. Add mask layer icon. As you can see, I have only my car image selected here. And let me turn off for a moment and then come here, turn on it. Pick your stamp tool. S is the shortcut. And then make a sample from here and then smoothly I'm going to paint around the edges, only just around the edges. Well, I'm using Wacom, it is 4 pen pressure. So harder press, harder I get the pressure. Maybe I'm going to make a brush a little smaller here. And do for a couple of time. Copy sample from here and then you can paint your edges a little bit. And I'm going to zoom here, copy sample again, and then again. Then you have go to your filter option, first blur and Gaussian blur. Maybe I'm gonna like maybe 10. Yeah, perfect. Then hit OK. Then again go to filter, blur, and lens blur. Maybe uh, play some settings around here and you find the perfect blur what you want. Like I'm looking some kind of highlights area here and some kind of rotation, maybe a little noise like one and then I'm going to hit OK and then turn on the layer. So guys, it's pretty well but still I need something more. Like if you can a closer look still here, it's a very hard edges and I'm going to go to my layer that I made early, I double click on the layer mask and make edges. I'm going to click 2, 1, 2, contrast is 5 good, shift edges, 2 pixel and then hit OK. Now you can see the edges are smooth. So basically we are looking for a distance blur. You know every blur is a distance blur. So what is our next step? Click on this layer and make a layer mask. And then go to your gradient make sure you have black and white gradient and then I'm gonna change the black to little gray I guess uh, maybe something like this hit ok hit ok and select the linear gradient you click here hold on the shift key so you go proper just click from here I guess Find the best thing, whatever setting you want and I turn on my background layer so you can see I got some nice things. So here is the final image before and then after. Hope guys you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any question please leave your comment down below in the comment section. Hope you like the video, like, share and subscribe. My name is Mohammed Amir, see you next time.